All right, guys, so today is day one of floor pan installation prep. Um, I've just been trying to get it cut out along the edges so that when I sit the pan down in there, that it will be sitting on top of this. I'm gonna, uh, before I start making marks and doing all my fitment, I'm gonna uh, grind this down, get this all smooth. Um, get it ready to weld to that way it'll be what it's gonna be because it's got a little bit of old floor plan floor pan Still stuck on there all over it. So we got to clean all that down Get it level get it ready to stick to and then I'm gonna put the pan in there and mark out where it comes up to because it comes up about right there It's gonna be real close on this rust spot. I may have to come up with some extra material um, But yeah, that's where we're at just trimming it out little by little bit I'll try to get you guys some uh, time lapse of that. Stay tuned. show you kind of what we're trying to do here uh, here's a good before and after of a preliminary scuff down you can see this is before and this is after we are making progress I knocked down this whole there's a whole chunk of floor right here that I knocked back down um, it is pretty pitted right here it is pretty pitted right here. So I am a little concerned about that, but uh, overall it's it's pretty solid. Uh, it's definitely solid enough that I'll be able to keep these frame rails. Uh, they're not, they're not rotted out all the way through like this floor pan is. Even up here, you can see like this section, it's just really weak and bendy. So anyway, I'm just knocking around with this old original engine in here. I really don't want to see it go to waste. And I really want to see it turn over. So I finally got some marble mystery oil. So um, I poured a very healthy gulp down on each cylinder. So we're going to let that sit for several hours, maybe multiple days. I don't even know. But I'll come back here and let you know, guys know how long, let you guys know how long it's been and uh, see if I can't get it to move. All right, we're back at it today. It's been about two or three weeks. I've been really busy, but I made myself get out here and uh, do something on it today. Um, say hey to the camera. Say hey. Hey. What are we doing? We are gonna land That's right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, as you can see, I have continued to cut away and grind away. And I've got the frame rail pretty much where I want it. Um, it's all ready to go, I'd say. It's got some pitting in there, but this is not going to be going anywhere near a Mecham auction block. So we're not going to worry about that. Anyway, moving along. You can see where I just kind of took and scored here for a line. Um, and then I actually made another line and then cut along that line. This line was made initially to just get an idea of where I was, I was falling. But that was with stuff still sitting on here stuff sitting over here you can see a little bit here this comes down and follows all right and i had to cut all that out it's like the the lip is actually the same piece as this right here um, this lip on the old panel had to come off but anyway all of that still being there pushed my pan up 
So it made the line look higher than it should have been. But let's put this down in here. We're showing all the nice people how it goes together. Okay. Now, if you look here, my line kind of went a little higher than my piece. But my reason for that was if you look, all of that is, is freaking rust. All that's rust. This here, all this here is still rust. So I'm gonna have to get some additional sheet metal and patch further up. I'm gonna have to make a piece to connect those two. In the back, I'm gonna have to create a piece about this big to patch in right here. And I'm gonna have to create a piece up here. I do have a sheet of um, some sheet metal I forget what gauge it is. It's plenty thick. It's thicker than this though. Um, I'll probably use that. I think I have enough for at least one side. But uh, you guys stay tuned. This is just where we're at now. I got everything cut out to where I can sit the pan on the rail and nothing is stopping it from sitting completely flush. So anyway, that's where we're at. So the next step here, I'm going to get this pan tacked in about two or three spots on the frame rail. And then they'll hold it in place while I make cardboard templates to patch in my side area, top area, and back area here, okay? Um, once I get the templates the way I want them, I'll copy them onto some metal and I'll tack it all together and kind of get it mocked up. And then um, on, the, on the sheet metal side, the existing side, so like up here, back here on the rusty stuff, that's all gonna be butt welded and then the other side will be flanged for the pan to just drop down into the flange and then I'll weld her up. That's the plan, um, stay tuned. All right guys, well that's a wrap on today. I'll uh, update you when I get back out here on it and we'll uh, work on making those extra pieces to fill in the gaps. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that it's so rusted out, but what can you expect? It's been sitting in a field. All right, dude. What do we say? Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Bye, y'all.